Right, so our UT set has been set up. We've got our probe, probe coupled to the IIW block. This would be a hundred millimeter radius, regardless of the angle of probe that we're using. So whether you use a 45, a 60, or a 70, the process is the same. Now, as I move the probe forwards and backwards here, we should notice an echo start to appear on the screen as such. Now, the problem with this echo here is it's completely through the roof of the screen. So I need to adjust my volume. So this echo, I can actually see the peak. It's very important that you need to see the peak. Otherwise, you won't be able to calibrate your probe properly. So what we do is we move the probe forwards and backwards on the V1 block until we, this reaches its maximum. So we can see it goes up, it reaches the maximum, and then it comes down again. The idea is to stop the probe where this maximum is reached. We also know that this radius at any angle is 100 millimeters. So now we can set the first, e the first echo to be 100 millimeters. Remember, we're just worried about the beam path, which is the value up here. And we'll just set it until it gives us the desired 100 millimeters. Now, if we increase the gain, we should also see the repeat echo pop up there. So the process is almost the same as with the zero degree probe. We maximize the second echo as well, find its maximum. Move our gate over it to get a reading. Then this should be at maximum, more or less 200 millimeters. We'll adjust our velocity as needed to get this to 200. Then we go back, we now lower the dBs again. We maximize the first one again. Move the gate over it. Ensure your gate cuts the echo. If your gate doesn't cut the echo, you won't get a reading. And if this is 100, that means it's calibrated. If it's a little off, we once again adjust the probe uh, delay. And then once again, the velocity for the second one. Once again, probe delay. Once again, velocity until it is in. However, you can say this is calibrated. And the next step would be just to mark your probe index point. So you can see the mark here is slightly incorrect. I would just stick some more masking tape on my probe. Take a cokey, some marker pen, and just mark where this long line of the V1 lines up with my probe. Very important. 